Okay. So you're a student and your teacher gave you an assignment to write an essay about the dangers of artificial intelligence in our world. Since you are too lazy to do a research and write it on your own, you went to ChatGPT and have it do it for you. By the way, if you are not familiar with ChatGPT yet, I will pop up a link in the right corner of the screen which will take you to my video about it. So ChatGPT writes a very good essay, you copied it, and then submit it to your teacher, and you're done within a few minutes. Or so you thought. Your teacher receives the essay you submitted. Being a techie person too, already anticipated that some students might utilize ChatGPT to do their homework, so he is ready for it. He fired up his computer and went to writer.com slash AI dash content dash detector, which is also an AI tool that detects if an article is written by an AI. It basically analyzes texts and calculate if it is written by his own kind. So the teacher pasted the essay submitted by the student onto the AI content detector. Since the text box can only accept up to 1,500 characters, the teacher trimmed the essay so that it conforms with the maximum character. Then clicks the Analyze Text button to start detecting AI traces in the essay. And busted! The essay is only 1% human-generated. Which means it has 99% chance that the whole essay was written by an AI. So the teacher gave the student a warning and was told to rewrite the whole essay. The student was 99% busted for laziness. The student, who is a real tech savvy, but unfortunately also determined to be a lazy kid, found another way to make the essay with little to no effort at all. The student found this site named QuillBot, which is another AI tool that rephrases the text you've given to it, which in turn, makes it harder for the AI detector to know that it is written by an AI. Basically an AI tool to counter the AI detector. The QuillBot text box can only accept up to 125 words. So the student might need to do this by paragraph. Which is what the student did. First paragraph was copied and pasted in the QuillBot tool, then rephrase. After about 5 seconds, the student had the rephrase paragraph, which was then copied and was used to replace the original paragraph written by ChatGPT. When the text was analyzed, it is now 3% human generated. It increased, but still not good enough. So on to the second paragraph. Do the same process in QuillBot, get the rephrased paragraph and replace the one written by ChatGPT, and analyze again. There we go! It is now 34% human generated. Already good, but the student bet it can do better. So the student did it again to the third paragraph. Rephrased it and used it to replace the ChatGPT version. And upon checking, it is now 55% human generated, which is acceptable enough to be submitted to the teacher. The, the student, student and teacher got, got both, both what they, they want, want and, and were, were both happy about it. Okay. This fictional story just proves how artificial intelligence has been booming in our time. They are basically everywhere now. It can do things for you, it can detect what is AI and what is not, it can do things that will counter the detector, and many other things. There are a lot of pros and cons on using AI, and it is here to stay, so we must accept them, use them and live with them. But as we do that, let's be human enough to use it wisely and responsibly. The student and teacher in the story might be satisfied with the outcome of the last version of the essay, since the student really did less effort on writing the essay, and the teacher has no idea about it, and based on the teacher's AI detector, as far as the teacher know, the student did wrote the essay. They both got what they wanted and they are both happy. But the question is, did they really use the AI tool responsibly to improve their lives and themselves? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.